that the testimony about the abuse was hearsay, and that Dr. Banks' testimony that Ms. Heard was a victim of domestic abuse, of the deposition testimony for trial of Dr. Con had been alerted that you would be at the courthouse and knew exactly which side of your face to take a picture of, did you? I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed. I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support of him and will fall to his power? Not germane to this litigation, therefore I'll deny the non-party HM Productions motion to intervene. Th thank you, Your Honor. Right. Uh, thank for the you. record, I've known Mr. Tobin for several years. I meant no snarkiness uh, toward him. Well, you're just a snarky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you saw her on the stand. We all did. She gave the performance of her life, telling you story after story of abuse. And not just any abuse, but extravagant, over-the-top allegations of abuse that would be truly brutal, horrific, if true. You either believe all of it, or you believe none of it. Either she's telling the truth, including in her most extreme allegations, or she's lying and lied to you and the world about being raped. You can't find that Mr. Depp hit her once. Either he hit her countless times, or you can't believe a single word that comes out of her mouth. And what is the actual meaning of Ms. Hurd's op-ed? Um, on the 12th, we received a video um, depicting um, Johnny Depp um, slamming some cabinets that was captured by Ms. Hurd. And what day was that? I believe that was the t August 12th. Of 2016? Of 2016, yes. Can you describe to the jury how you received the video on August 12th, 2016? The, it came in as, as I recall, a... Objection, a hearsay. He's just described Cut those promises. One of those promises we made was that you would come to understand who Ms. Heard is, that she is a deeply troubled person, violently afraid of abandonment, desperate for attention and approval. And in her relationship with Mr. Depp, she was violent, she was abusive, and she was cruel. You heard from Dr. Shannon Curry, who explained that Ms. Heard suffers from borderline personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder. These are disorders that are characterized by anger, sometimes uncontrollable and explosive anger, and a powerful, sometimes desperate need for attention, acceptance, and approval. Fear of abandonment is the deepest fear. A person that you all have heard and has come forward in this case shows that those allegations are false and despicably false. Mr. Depp did not physically abuse Ms. Heard. He did not sexually abuse Ms. Heard. You've heard audio after audio where Ms. Heard admits that she was physically abusing him. While Mr. Depp's name will be forever tarnished by these horrendous 
and false allegations. This case is about telling you his story and the truth about what really happened, which you've now heard. It is about restoring his lost reputation. It's about showing Mr. Depp's children, Lily Rose and Jack, that the truth is worth fighting for. It is. And it's about restoring Mr. Depp's name and standing in the community to the fullest extent that you can. And you can do something. And only you, ladies and gentlemen, can do that for him. We ask you to please return your verdict for Mr. Depp. We ask you, we implore you, to give him his name, his reputation, and his career back. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a break at this time. The case has not been submitted to you yet. We will continue with closing arguments when we come back. So do not discuss the case with yourselves. Don't do any outside. You may have noticed that no one showed up for Ms. Hurd in this courtroom other than her sister. Every other witness who traveled to Virginia for her was a paid expert. Question. Well, the metadata next to it is so that Ms. Hurd, to avoid this Ms. Sort Hurd, of there is no question pending, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't be making argument to the jury. Sorry, I thought you had asked me about it. No, I didn't ask you about anything. How did Ms. Hurd's actions on May 27th, 2016 affect you? Changed everything. Objection, Your Honor. Relevant. Oh, it didn't change everything? This lawsuit. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Hurd, if you could wait till the objection, please. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Relevant. 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 Your Honor, this is one of the key if you want dates. Objection. been like for you to listen to Ms. Hurd's testimony at this trial? I'm sorry? What has it been like for you to listen to Ms. Hurd's testimony at this trial? Objection relevance, Your Honor. Oh, overruled. Insane. there was blood left all over the pillows and Mr. Depp had broken the bed frame. Pictures were taken of that bed frame and that picture fails to capture the bloody pillows. Not sitting in this courtroom snickering. I'm not sitting in this courtroom laughing, smiling, and making snide jokes. I'm not. This is horrible. Ugh. The attorneys are going to be leaving, so I just wanted to thank all of you for your professionalism and your hard work during this case, and to the courthouse staff and to the, mm -hmm. the deputies in the sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. It means, it means a great deal. And I also appreciate Judy because she's a rock star. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. Yes, thank you. Oh. Well, that's a first. Okay. That is one thing on which Ms. Prederhoff and we respectfully disagree. Uh, agree. <laughs> Completely agree. Well, well, good. I'm glad on the last day we finally have an agreement. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> We're very grateful. Thank you.